What is the Stream app? On Upfluence, you can pull content from creators based on specific criteria that you define. Our Stream app is a great way to start with social listening. If you want to get an idea of what influencers say about trends, you want to see content that is posted under a specific trend keyword or hashtag, or you want to see what influencers are posting about your competitor brands. Through the Stream app, you can also track the performance of your campaigns. Advanced tracking and data analytics might require a dedicated social listening tool. Agencies and single brand companies both benefit from using the Stream app as you can do market research on trends in social media and gather information on competitors. There are two main apps on Upfluence that you can use to analyze content. We have the Stream app and the Content tab within our Workflow app. Each app is used for a specific purpose. First, we'll review the Stream app, then we'll review the Content tab. How to track trends and competitors. The Stream app is ideal to monitor hashtags, keywords, and brand mentions across the Upland's database to strategize for your upcoming campaigns. First, go to the Stream app. If this is your first stream, you'll be on the setup page as soon as you open up this app. Next, name your stream, something easy that you'll be able to reference later. I like to include the trend, keyword, or competitor name that I'm researching. We're monitoring a trend across all accounts in Upfluence, therefore you will keep influencers select to all. If you're exploring a specific country or segment of a brand, you can add a location. But for today's demo, we're searching internationally and won't select this. Next, you must select the platforms to track. Today we'll track posts on Instagram and TikTok, but to track all social media, click select all. A quick note on Instagram stories, as this is a private form of content, influencers must have connected their professional Instagram account to Upfluence in order to share their stories. For those who've already agreed to do this, you'll be able to see their Instagram stories insights right here in the stream app. Once you select platforms, you'll be prompted to define keywords. We're focusing on the social media trend of get ready with me. To track this phrase as a hashtag, select hashtag as the field type and the hashtag in the value fields. You can use the social media dropdown if you want to only look for it in one type of social media. If you are running a competitive analysis of a brand, you can add a brand handle and select mention in the field type dropdown. In specific use cases, you may want to add cost per milli or campaign expenses. These tools are better suited to calculate ROI, which is not necessary when doing market or competitor research. The influencer industry standard for cost per milli, which is the price for every 1000 impressions is $6.50. So that number will be input automatically. Finally, you can save and then start recording. When searching longer timelines or larger trends, it can take up to four full days for the stream to fully populate. The stream tool can currently look for up to six months backwards. What are the results and metrics in a stream? Once your results populate, your screen will look something like this. The overview at the top of the page includes some key metrics that we'll review. First, the number of total tracked posts. There's also estimated impressions, which is the potential audience reached. Other key numbers include the estimated media value, which is estimated by the CPM entered. Finally, there is engagements, which is the number of total likes, shares, and comments. If you minimize the top of the page metrics or scroll down, you'll find the post level metrics. These are individual posts and their associated performance metrics. You can organize the view of these posts by date or by total engagements. How to track campaign performance. If you run a campaign and want to analyze the results of the posts for that campaign, you'll use the content tab. The settings in the content tab are predefined with your keywords and the results are specific to the influencers from the campaign. You'll notice the interface of the content tab does look very similar to the stream app. You can find the content tab in any of your workflow campaigns. To learn how to set up a campaign, we have a separate video in our learning content link below in the description of this video. The top of the page metrics and individual post metrics will be similar to how the stream looks with similar numbers. 
The posts that are collected are based on the influencers, including the defined hashtags, keywords, and mentions. Without them, the influencers' posts cannot be monitored. Posts from influencers can take up to four days to populate into the content tab. If a post does not populate due to a typo in the influencer's keywords or any other reason, you can add a post manually. In order to see the statistics of an individual influencer here, you can use the All Creators dropdown and select a single influencer. You can then examine the results in the top of page metrics for individual influencers. How can you track a campaign's performance in the Stream app? One reason you may use the Stream app to track a campaign's performance instead of the content tab is if you run multiple campaigns side by side or throughout a quarter. Let's say in one quarter you ran four campaigns so you have four different content tabs. At the end of the quarter, using the Stream app, you can aggregate all the data from these campaigns. It's important to note here that we can only collect posts going back six months, making this a great exercise to do quarterly. Let's go to the Stream app to review how to do this. Once in the Stream app, follow the same steps as earlier to set up your stream, but this time add a specific selection of influencers. To aggregate multiple campaigns, select influencers from a list or from a specific workflow campaign and repeat this step until you have all the relevant influencers included. After adding the selection of influencers, defining the social media types, hashtags, keywords, and mentions, I will add the timeline. I will set the timeline for the span of the quarter and if I have the total expenses across the campaigns, I can also add this number to the campaign expenses, which will generate the ROI. Finally, click save and run the stream. Thanks for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you in future videos and don't forget to check out our other learning content for more use cases.